Howdy, folks, and welcome to another episode of Taco Newsday. I'm your host, Mr. Marin. Breaking news, folks. Today is Friday the 13th. For all you horror movie fans, it is a very, very scary day. In other news, it is World Kindness Day, so be nice to each other. Folks, before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for future episodes of Taco News Day. We have a new episode for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Top stories today. It looks like we have a theme of transportation on our hands. In South Korea, flying taxis just might become a common sight. That's right, folks. A company in South Korea has created a large flying drone that can transport people from one place to another. They are hoping to commercialize this amazing invention by 2025. However, there are still a lot of tests they need to do to make sure it's safe. Some of the benefits of a flying taxi would be it would take people much, much less time to get from point A to point B. Also, this can improve traffic conditions as well as help bring down the pollution levels. I was going to make a joke about flying taxis, but I don't think it'll fly. For more information on this story, check out this video right here. And as always, the link is in the description box below. Keeping with the subject of transportation, the company Virgin is working on a super fast hypersonic train. They're calling it the Hyperloop, and it's a pod that shoots through a tube at very, very fast speeds. The company's ambitious project is hoping to get these pods to go over 620 miles per hour. In case you're wondering, a passenger jet goes up to about 575 miles per hour. That's a whole lot of speed for a train. Now the company still has a lot of testing to do, and that's happening in the state of Nevada. But if the Hyperloop train does come into reality, that means you can go from Southern California all the way up to Northern California in about 45 minutes. Well, there goes my excuse for being late to work. You can check out a test of the Hyperloop train right here in this video, and as always, the link is in the description box below. And last story for the day, folks, it is the Vondu Globe 2020. Now you're probably asking, Mr. Mern, what in the world are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about a race, a very amazing race that is, starting from France and ending in France. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Vondu Globe 2020 yacht race around the world. You heard correctly, folks. It is a race around the world in a boat and that is about 28,000 miles. The most incredible thing about this race, there is only one skipper per yacht. By the way, a skipper is the person who uh, commands the ship, or in this case, the yacht. In case you're wondering, folks, some of the fastest yachts have taken 74 days to circle the Earth. This race was founded by Philippe Jonté of France in 1989 and occurs every four years. The race began this year on November 8th, and this year there are 33 yachts involved. Check out this video right here for more details about the race, and they also have a really cool website so you can track the yachts as they travel around the world. Boy, I'm feeling a little bit seasick just talking about this. Alrighty folks, it's that time of the show where we do a little bit of Q&A. Question number one, would you take a flying taxi? If so, where would you go? Question number two. What is your favorite form of transportation? It could range from walking, skateboarding, cycling, or trains, boats, submarines, you name it. And question number three. Have you ever participated in a race? Well, that'll do it for us today, folks. I hope you have a wonderful Friday and an amazing weekend. As always, we'll see you next time here on Taco Newsday. Oh. Okay. Somebody stop rocking the boat. This this is not going to end well. No! Man, man overboard! Hi folks and welcome to Taco Newsday Newsday.
Taco Tuesday. What was that?